Hi folks, welcome back to Stacy Can Can. Today I am making Bailey's Irish Cream. It is, the holidays are upon us, hence my holiday apron. I like a good apron. And this is a simple, easy thing to make if it's something that you want to just indulge in and enjoy for yourself. For me, it's kind of a seasonal thing. I don't like it in the summer. You do you on that. Um, but it's a great gift idea as well. Um, and also really discreet if you just need to sneak something in your coffee or whatever, just to, just to get through some, some family time that may have overextended itself. But you do you on that. Um, the ingredients that you need are, you're gonna need a cup of heavy cream or half and half. You don't wanna use milk for this, it's just too thin. You do need, Irish cream is creamy, so you do need, you need a little more punch with it. So make sure to use some uh, heavy whipping cream. If you are, um, if you are, aren't doing dairy, I think there's some dairy alternatives. I did not research that, which I probably should have, so my apologies there. There are plenty of recipes out there on the interwebs for something that's not, not uh, dairy. Um, so check that out. You also need a, a 14 ounce can of sweetened and condensed milk. Sweetened condensed milk. I always say it's sweetened and condensed. It's not, it's just sweetened condensed milk. Um, you will need uh, about three tablespoons of chocolate syrup. I am using just, just a regular national brand for that. Um, uh, one teaspoon of instant coffee granules. You do wanna use instant coffee. You don't wanna use like actual coffee. It just doesn't, um, it makes it too runny. It's too too liquidy and that's that's not what you're going for. Instant coffee is a better, better choice too because it does kind of pack a punch to it and then it also dissolves. So you're not gonna have funky little coffee granules in it. Um, and then also one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. And the big one is the uh, one and, and two thirds cups of Irish whiskey. Um, I'm using Jameson here. You can use, you can actually use bourbon for it. You can use your favorite whiskey. The one thing I am suggesting with all of this is because this is what I consider to be a mixer. Um, I actually enjoy, uh, I enjoy whiskey neat. I don't, I don't, uh, and, and so I like a higher grade of a whiskey for myself, but this is a great whiskey. Jameson, it's my, my big boy, it's his favorite whiskey. Um, but it's a great, it's a great just general whiskey. You can use a, a more of a bottom shelf whiskey if you want, because again, this is a mixer. You're adding all of this stuff to it. When I make limoncello, I, I like to use a higher grade of vodka for it. Well, not too high of a grade, because again, you're using, I'm, I'm mixing it up. So keep that in mind. I, I'm, I feel the same way about the chocolate syrups. I did get fancy um, Starbucks instant coffee for it, just because this will be, um, I, we enjoy it and we'll, we will drink this at home versus something that's a little more inexpensive. And these are single serving um, options that you can just pour into a cup. So it's, they're great for camping, um, et cetera. So, and I am using my, my own fancy homemade uh, vanilla extract. You can use imitation if you want, but I don't suggest using imitation. I really do suggest using a bit of better vanilla for this. The tools you need, you do need a big bowl and you, you, you need a mixer. A mixer that, you don't wanna blend this in a high speed blender, you do not, or, or with a high speed mixer. We're gonna blend it on low. If you do it too high speed, you're gonna curdle the milk and, and that's, you don't want that. Although I do have a tip for it, for it. If you do curdle it, which is you just pour it through a strainer and you and you get out the, the chunks of it if you accidentally, it accidentally uh, blend it for too long. So keep that in mind. You can probably use a hand mixer if you wanted to. My grandmother had, I have my grandmother's, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna do, because you're only doing it for about 30 seconds. Um, you need a container to store it in. And then also, um, you know, I, you need a, a spoon, a spatula to scrape it. And then I do have my funnel here that I'll use to pour it into the, um, into the into the jar when I am done. So with all of that, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start with adding the cup of heavy whipping cream, then your can of sweetened condensed milk, two tablespoons of chocolate syrup, then measured out a teaspoon of instant coffee, and a teaspoon of the vanilla extract. 
So I'm gonna mix it on low for 30 seconds. We're done mixing, and now I'm gonna add in the cup and two thirds, well, one and two thirds cup of whiskey. Again, you can use bourbon or whatever. And then we're just gonna mix it for just a few seconds to get it mixed in. I've got it good and mixed now. And so I'm gonna just gently pour it into the jar. You can notice there's still some of the instant coffee that hasn't quite dissolved yet, but it will over time. And then we put our lid on it and it's ready for storage. And that is how you make some Bailey's Irish cream. It is very simple and easy to do. You can store this in the refrigerator for up to two months. You do want to shake it really well before you serve it. Uh, the uh, instant coffee is still, it's still dissolving. Um, you can see it kind of floating around in here and it has settled at the bottom as well. So giving it a good shake will mix up those flavors real well for you. You can, you know, obviously you have to keep it refrigerated, but you can store it, put it in some cute bottles and give it away as gifts if you like. The recipe is down below. I got it originally from the uh, Spruce Eats, I believe, down below. I, I saw their Santa's Whiskey Flip is a cocktail that they have there, which looks quite delicious. So I'll have that listed there, but uh, attached with that is um, Easy as Apple Pie website, which is where I got this recipe from for, um, for the Baileys. So it is not my recipe, but um, it's, it's fine. There's so many recipes out there. I'm not that inventive. Um, so that is how you make the Irish cream, Bailey's Irish cream. Um, thanks so much for joining me today. And um, as I mentioned, the recipes are down below. So while you're down there, please like and subscribe. Uh, it does help. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, feedback, concerns, by all means, please reach out to me. I'm on Facebook at Stacy Can Can. You can add me on Instagram and TikTok at Stacy Can Can. My website is www.stacycancan.com, and my email is info at stacycancan.com. Thanks so much again for joining me today, and until next time, happy canning.